The man behind the songbook of Australian television, Jeff Harvey, has died, age 83. Over his incredible career, he saw and did it all, fuelled by his never-ending love of music. Mark Burrows compiled this tribute. He was known as the maestro of midday, leading the band for more than 21 years of live lunchtime telly, while simultaneously the witty foil for host and guests alike. <laughs> But Jeff Harvey's influence on Australian television history reaches far beyond sharp repartee at high noon, touching almost its genesis and stretching into the 21st century. So I'm sure anyone who knew him, as everybody did, um, thinks um, kindly of him tonight. He was a, a one-off character. He was amazing. Born in the UK in 1935, Jeff Harvey would be raised as the bombs of the Blitz fell on London. By the time the bombs stopped at age eight, he was playing organ for his local church. By 14, Harvey was organist at Westminster Cathedral. A year later, he was playing in jazz clubs, where he would stay after leaving school. The Londoner would be lured to Australia to produce records for EMI in the early 1960s. He only planned to stay a year, but quickly became absorbed by the new medium of television, which was crying out for variety talent, then a staple of programming. He would join the Nine Network in 1961, first with Bob Rogers' Tonight Show, quickly assuming the title of musical director for stars such as Dave Allen, John Laws, Barry Crocker and Don Lane. Harvey growing his signature beard after losing a football bet with Lane in 1965. He was just a barrel laughs and uh, he was he treated life as fun um, and uh, if there's a face of television it probably isn't Bert or Graham it's it, it's Jeff Harvey. But his profile would become a national weekday presence with the eight-year run of the Mike Walsh show and then 14 year role of midday both shows one and a half hours of live tv punctuated with three big musical numbers every show joke the last nine years have been the happiest of my life they really have for all of us you've made it all very very easy harvey would also compose the themes to some of the network's biggest marquee titles such as the current affair the today show and the sullivans Every time you needed someone to uh, rescue a program, Jeff would come in. And as I say, he did probably 20 carols by candlelight and 20 logies, and he was always there. He was the, the maestro. Jeff would regularly give up the festive season at home to steer the baton for carols by candlelight. He's probably had more friends in the business than anybody I know. I mean, people love Jeff Harvey. When live variety lost its luster, Jeff Harvey would return to that first love of the keyboard as a teacher, doing the odd gig at his favourite barrel hotel, as well as going back to the road to tour with stage shows. He couldn't stop tinkling the ivories, and in recent months, he'd been out on the road again, touring with a musical show called Senior Moments. Show business, in his blood, to the very end. Mark Burroughs, Nine News. Certainly was a brilliant career. All right.